Paddling in strong current can be really intimidating, but by mastering these skills, it can also be a lot of fun. Both tidal and river rapids can be broken into two parts. There's the main current, and there are eddies. Eddies are relatively calm areas of water that form behind a feature that obstructs the main current. As the main current is deflected around an obstruction, an eddy is formed as the water curls in behind it. For this reason, eddies have their own current, which moves in exactly the opposite direction to the main current. Where the eddy current and the main current meet, you get an eddy line. Eddy lines are without a doubt the most unstable and unpredictable places to be. They're usually very identifiable and are often accompanied by whirlpools and all sorts of other funny water. The stronger the currents that are colliding are, the stronger and squirrelier the eddy line will be. As a general rule, your goal when paddling through current is to spend the least amount of time on the eddy lines. Ideally, you can just point your boat upstream or downstream and paddle, staying in the main current and avoiding eddy lines altogether. Keeping your boat straight and your body forward, you can paddle through some pretty big waves this way. Sometimes though, you won't have a choice. You'll need to cross an eddy line, and this is what we're now going to look at. 